so wrong for this. Sources, aka people that know Gypsy personally, are now saying that Gypsy got pregnant just to lock in a second season of Life After Lockup, and she didn't care who the father was. She's really following in her mother's footsteps, not only exploiting her child for money, but having one in the first place for money. They're also saying that Gypsy doesn't really know who the father is, she doesn't care who the father is, and she did have a positive pregnancy test before she left Ryan, and she sent them a picture of it. Ryan himself even said that they have to get a paternity test after the baby is born, and they were actively trying to get pregnant up until the day that she left Ryan, which tells you that she really did not care who the father was. Gypsy claims in text messages to a friend that it was a false positive and she got a real positive the month afterwards when she started dating Ken, but I don't believe a word out of that girl's mouth. So allegedly, Gypsy's just trying to play this baby off as Ken's when she really doesn't know if it's his or not. This all makes sense because we know that reality show producers encourage you to create drama on the show and will even pressure you and tell you that you won't get a second season if you don't do it. And Gypsy also stated publicly that she would not be putting her child in the media, but she allegedly is already negotiating the price of her child's first photo. Multiple sources have also confirmed that Ken and Gypsy are having a lot of problems. Infidelity is being accused on both sides and she texted her friend and told her that she's convinced that Ken is cheating on her. I think Ken is frustrated because Gypsy keeps stringing Ryan along and trying to play both sides and Ken is visibly miserable in all the lives that they do together while Gypsy tries to put on a show as usual and pretend that they're perfectly happy. This is a hot mess. Today we are diving into something that sparked a lot of debate recently. Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Now, you all know her story, the infamous case with her mother and the tragic events that, that led her to prison. But today it's not about her past crime. It's about her present, specifically her pregnancy. You'd think after everything, Gypsy might want a low-key life, focusing on her own healing. But nope. She's back in the spotlight, and once again, people are questioning her every move. Recently, Gypsy posted a 12-second TikTok video revealing her baby bump. Now, this wasn't your typical pregnancy update. It was muted. That alone raised a few eyebrows, but the real curiosity came from her caption. She wrote, Kicks are getting stronger, 24 weeks plus 5 days, and her kicks are now visible? To emphasize the point, she included a foot emoji and a heart emoji, along with hashtags like hashtag baby kicks and hashtag pregnant life. But here's the thing, there wasn't much to see in the video. Those kicks she's talking about, they weren't exactly visible in. In fact, for many viewers, it looked like just another bump shot with no clear movement from the baby. Let's think about that for a second. Dips is claiming that her baby kicks are so strong and visible. But when you watch the video, it's hard to see what she's talking about. When you're announcing something as significant as visible kicks, wouldn't you want to make sure the video shows it clearly? This discrepancy only added fuel to the fire of public skepticism surrounding her pregnancy. This wasn't the first time Gypsy mentioned baby kicks either. A few weeks earlier, in her 22-week pregnancy update, she gave a much more detailed description. In that video, Gypsy said she had started feeling her baby move frequently, especially at night, between 9pm to 11pm. She also shared that the baby would kick more after she ate sweets, saying, I ate a Kit Kat bar. And she was up for like two hours, kicking me like every five seconds. She painted this vivid picture of her baby's sleeping and kicking patterns, making it sound like a magical experience. Even saying that when the baby stopped kicking, she would miss the movements. Hey everybody, so it's a brand new week. So this week I am 22 weeks pregnant. And this is my pregnancy update. So now that I am in my second trimester, I've been experiencing a lot of the things that are associated with pregnancy. So I have started to feel her kick a lot. Um, I have started to feel those movements and I've started to notice kind of her sleeping pattern. So I have noticed that she kicks a lot at night, anywhere from nine o'clock at night to 11 o'clock at night and she's calmer during the daytime. I have noticed that she's more active whenever I eat sweets. So I ate a Kit Kat bar and she was up for like two hours, kicking me like every five seconds. Um, so I'm getting used to that. Um, so far, I mean, that part of it has been very magical. Um, there are some times that I'm kind of like, oh, okay, stop moving. But then whenever she stops moving and she's like asleep, that's when I start to miss her moving actually. So um, that's definitely been a, um, a 
fun, exciting part of pregnancy. So what happened between the 22-week update and this muted 24-week video? It's a stark contrast. Back then, she gave a long emotional narrative about how much she felt her baby kick. And now, she posts a 12-second clip with no clear movements and disables all comments. This switch from detailed sharing to vague, unclear footage only deepens the suspicion surrounding her pregnancy. This is something she's been doing more and more lately. Now, if you're truly excited about your pregnancy and proud of your baby's progress, wouldn't you want to hear from your followers? Why shut down the conversation if everything is as perfect as you say? The answer seems pretty clear. Gypsy doesn't want to hear the criticism. She's gotten used to controlling her narrative and muting comments is just another way to avoid facing hard questions. But what's more concerning is the reason behind the muted comments. Could be that Gypsy knows people would call out on the inconsistency in her pregnancy story. And the public hasn't stayed silent. Even though Gypsy tried to control the narrative, on platforms where the comments aren't muted, people have started questioning her behavior. One viewer wrote, go look at her in the video of her first trip to the beach. She looks more pregnant there than she does now. Her belly was already big. That's a really valid point. If Gypsy was looking more pregnant earlier, why is her bump smaller now? At 24 weeks, when it should be logically be bigger. Another fan was quick to criticize saying, girl, 22 weeks? You gotta sit down every half an hour. Good thing you don't actually have to work a real job. Stop with the pregnancy advice. This comment reflects the growing impatience people have with how Gypsy presents herself. She's out here giving pregnancy advice, but viewers aren't convinced she's being authentic. Then there's a sarcasm. Oh my god, Gypsy. Congrats on being the first person to ever have a baby. Please tell us more. Gypsy Rose Manson, front and center. This was last week. This was yesterday. I need you to make it make sense. Because up until yesterday, I was like, yeah, y'all stop patronizing her. Every time I would see that in my comments, I would just not respond because I felt like this girl's clearly pregnant. Why y'all keep saying it? But Gypsy. You know you in here playing with us. Debate, and I wish, Gypsy, if you ever, ever get to see my TikToks that I'm making to you, because I've tried messaging you, I've tried doing all that, um, but I can't seem to reach you. But this is probably not a good move. Um, it's just not a good move. It's obvious that people are starting to see through her attempts to grab attention with her pregnancy. For someone who said she wanted to keep her baby out of the spotlight, she sure is making it a focal point of her public persona. These comments reflect the public's frustration with Gypsy's tendency to dramatize and exaggerate, something she's been doing long before this pregnancy. And the critique doesn't stop there. One user hit a more serious note, saying, Not sure why you're googling your symptoms in instead of going to the doctor, and getting the real help and advice. Not something to chance during pregnancy. This is a legitimate concern. If Gypsy is truly worried about her baby and taking her pregnancy seriously, why isn't she focusing on real medical care instead of constantly posting updates for social media? Gypsy has also made some subtle moves on social media that suggest she's playing a long game. She's been less active lately, but not completely silent. She's updated her profile picture tweaked her bio and quietly stayed engaged, just not in the same loud attention-grabbing way she used to. This behind-the-scenes activity feels calculated. She's trying to stay relevant but without putting herself in the direct line of fire. It's almost like she's positioning herself for a bigger reveal or a dramatic comeback once the baby is born. By staying just active enough, she keeps people curious but avoids the full backlash she would face if she were constantly posting. Meeting a fan at the hospital, there was also the fan who posted about running into Gypsy at a doctor's office. This fan was all excited saying, I done run into Gypsy Rad today at the doctor's office and I just about to pass out. Gypsy Rose, if you're seeing this, hey girl, you look beautiful. Your bump is so cute. What's interesting is that Gypsy later reposted this video. Despite her attempts to be quieter on her own platform, it's almost as if Gypsy only wants to promote the positive narratives. 
the ones where she looks good. She won't engage directly with her own followers, but she's more than happy to share content that paints her in a flattering light. This shows yet again how Gypsy is controlling the narrative. She picks and chooses what to highlight, muting comments when things might get too real, and promoting only the content that feeds her public persona. But all of this raises an even bigger question. Is Gypsy using the pregnancy to stay in the spotlight and make money? Social media engagement equals money. And Gypsy knows this better than anyone. She shared sonograms, baby kicks, and pregnancy cravings. All moments designed to keep people engaged, which translates to views and revenue. The real concern is what happens when the baby is born. Will Gypsy continue to share intimate details? Perhaps selling the first photo of the baby to the highest bidder. Given her history, it's not hard to imagine that she might. Let's not forget that Gypsy is a master of playing the victim. She did it during the public fallout over her mother's death, and she's doing it again now. By selectively sharing her pregnancy journey and muting the tough conversation, she's trying to generate sympathy while avoiding accountability. But people are catching on. Gypsy's been down this road before and no one's buying the act this time. In the end, this pregnancy feels more like a spectacle than a personal journey for Gypsy. She's using it to stay relevant, controlling the narrative by muting comments and carefully curating what she shares. It's not about privacy or protecting her baby. It's about staying in the spotlight, something Gypsy has always been good at. The question now is, What's next for her? Will she continue to exploit her pregnancy for attention? Or will she finally step back and live the quiet private life she's promised so many times before? Only time will tell.